go. Some questions. It's Monday morning on the back patio, the patio of peace. Is this the back patio of peace? Well, this is the patio. I mean, the patio piece is just over my left shoulder. You need to name each of your patios. Oh, this is the... Because you have multiple patios. This is the patio of barbecue. And used to be ping pong. And used to be ping pong. No longer ping pong. I know. We've moved the ping pong table. It has made its way to Mama's house. So uh, if you were looking to play ping pong... You got to go to Rachel's. You got to go to Rachel's. <laughs> it is now over there. Good morning. Happy Monday. This is uh, Heidi. My name is Dave. Hi. <laughs> um, it took a minute. It's, yeah, no. We're, uh, We're tired. In the third week of our 90 Days of Courage Challenge, this uh, third week is all about this idea of stillness, of how important it is to create peace. That's why we are sitting on the back patio. It's a little warm, I'm going to be honest. It, you see, and for me, I love the warmth. Okay, can we talk You're about this? You're probably sweating. Let's talk about I'm this not. for a second. Yeah. The major difference. What's the major difference in okay. your relationship? I like it 80 degrees at always. all times. There's something. And he likes it 55 degrees at I, all times. I'm I'm happy to be cool. 68. And I actually rarely no, rarely feel cool. 68 degrees. I know. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. No. Uh, we're a little tired this morning. We are. Taking a minute. Noah Hollis uh, has a cold. She doesn't have COVID. She has a cold. And uh, inside of a cold, when you're a child, sometimes you get a cough. And last night, that cough created a throw up. Hot dogs. We had hot dogs for dinner with, for the kids. <laughs> I mean, like, idea. We, uh, we made steak, rice, uh, a little salad, yeah. and some broccoli. Yeah. It was delicious. Mm -hmm. uh, but the kids got hot dogs because they could not possibly uh, appreciate the steak that I made. <laughs> And uh, I found those hot dogs around 1.20 in the morning. And that was terrible. I'm going to just say oh. it. And it took a little bit of time for her to get back to bed. And Dave, you actually needed Pepto before bed because you were a little queasy. The thing <laughs> is, I went, in, I went into, I, went, I, I heard her calling my name. And I walked in. And there was a there was a part of me that I already knew. Did like, you smell it? Like, I, was it because of the smell? It or? wasn't the smell. It was... She was calmer than normal. I had a... She's, I had a sixth sense. Really? I had a sixth sense. Yeah. I was just like, wait a second. Is there a chance that uh, this wake up is not about needing her ninth hug of the evening, but instead <laughs> that she's thrown up and she was calm. You're right. That, that's, that's the thing. She was Usually calm. she's not calm if she's needing a hug. Right? I know. But it, and the thing is, when I walked in, Daddy, she was smiling. Daddy. Like, she was like happy. She was in a very, very like good mood. <laughs> She was in a she was in a very good mood, and I was like, I don't know, I'm not uh, as happy about this. And there was just, I'm sorry, I know it's early, but there was volume. What do you mean? Oh, oh, oh. Mass. There was Did a you lot. Not smell it. And the thing is, I wouldn't allow myself to breathe. I, I wouldn't allow myself to breathe through my nose. But <laughs> the bottom you line inhaled is, inhaled particles through your mouth. I went. I know. I went full hazmat. I went <laughs> in with the nose plugged, and the thing. I just like I picked up. All four corners of the bed, rolled it on in, put it into a sink. Uh, <laughs> she's fine. Everyone, she's fine. She's fine. We're going to complain about oh. being tired all day long. Though, we so. are. I'm, I'm like groggy. <clears throat> You're do you groggy? Know why? I do know why. Why? I do know why. Because I normally take my own sleep medicine. Like, not medicine. That's the wrong way to say it. Like a melatonin supplement yeah. i used one of yours which is melatonin my gummy yeah but it not like that kind of a gummy it was just literally like a melatonin it, just, it was a melatonin gummy, gummy. tastes yeah. like a little grape gum drop it tastes like crap how dare let's you let's be honest i asked i how said hey before you. i eat it how does it taste he said really delicious, delicious. it tastes like a purple uh jelly bean no it does not <laughs> yeah it tastes like a purple it tastes like medicine <laughs> in a jelly it tastes like a purple jelly it, bean and i could not wake up this morning <laughs> Someone says, I don't look like that when I'm tired. You should have seen me 30 minutes ago. <laughs> Dave actually looked over at me in the car and was like, you look tired. <laughs> what I'm hoping is that last night's incident is a tee up for a good morning, evening, day preparation for tomorrow. Because tomorrow is the first day of school here at the Hollis House. And I'm going to need every one of these kids to go to bed early. And I'm definitely going to need Rachel Hollis 
Rachel Hollis. Noah Hollis. To, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm going to need... No, see, I'm tired. I'm going to need Noah Hollis <laughs> to actually go to sleep. <laughs> well, what, do we, what do we need Chris Powell to do? <laughs> I'm kidding. I need him to call me and tell me that I am looking fit because I'm you know, continuing to work out on an every single day basis. Um, is, is, the, is the Facebook camera zoomed? It looks like it's very close very to our zoomed. face. Guys, on Facebook, if we are really close to the camera... There's some kind of a Zoom happening. I don't know why it is. Are we going to answer some questions? What are we going to do? Yeah, let's answer some questions. These people are getting tired of us talking stalling, about <laughs> talking about nothing. All right. I, so, I screenshotted a couple as well. Let's see. Here we go. Dave, uh, how long will you keep your facial hair? I can't even imagine not having facial hair at this point. I mean, it's so funny because we've been working with like YouTube human who's helping create some content or putting together a reel for speaking or even like I went and had uh, a, an event where I was, you know, like running out onto a stage and they needed like the uh, minute long intro video. And the only thing that had been created was something where there was zero facial hair. And I was like, I don't know that I even recognize this person who doesn't have facial hair. So I don't know. I think I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it at least for a little bit. You do say Look that at every you. time. You are perfect right now. I am like no. schwitzing. I mean, like the, are the you hot? it's the humidity <laughs> out here. Wait, well, you're schwitzing? Yeah, like sweating. There's like a, there's is that a, is that an actual word? I believe it's a maybe a Yiddish term, uh, but it's like the <laughs> idea of like sweating. I've never heard of that before. But back to the reel and all of the videos with you without facial hair. Every single time we want to use a video of you without facial facial hair, you say, that's so old. I don't even recognize I that guy. I don't recognize that guy. And I it's do. like the best like, thing. You are you, whether you have facial hair or not. And you're handsome and you are kind. The and- weird thing is, like I look back, mm-hmm. you know, the, yeah. my first book came out in March of 2020. That's not that long ago. And I see the picture of that dude on the cover and I'm like, I don't even know who that is. I, I mean, which again, like when someone says I don't recognize you, I think it is an awesome compliment. I feel great about not looking like I did or um, like having light in my eyes or happiness in my face or a whole host of things, yet I still struggle with the idea of having the old version of yeah. pictures of videos of me show up because in a weird way too, like it, it reminds me a little bit of how yeah. I was feeling when I wasn't feeling my best. I get that. I, that. I actually, I, I do get that. Like I actually see, cause I had long hair when you met me That's right? real. and I had long, I've had long hair for most of my life. I do feel more myself with short hair. Right. So I, I love long hair too, but it, I it is love, a different personality. I love your hair the way that it is right sure, now. I mean, it's just easy. well, it's because and it's I both like beautiful it. and cute. And that is a, that is very difficult to pull off. Thank you. Cute and beautiful. You find a way to do that. Do it. Thank you. Uh, Lacey asks, what's your favorite vacation? <clears throat> like our favorite vacation that we've taken? Yeah. Um, Tulum. That was the best. Totally agree. And I think part of the reason was the resort that we stayed at was, <clears throat> we have, I, I, I am a kid person. I love my kids yeah. so much. You yeah. know this. Like we have my a million family kids. is everything. And I almost don't know what life is like without kids around. And so to take a break and recharge, it was a resort that was adults only. Kid free. Yeah. And, and it was really nice. Awesome. And it was a thing that I worried I would not like. And I'm like, man, like I am charged and ready to go back to yeah. reality. And we didn't do anything besides sit by the pool and work out. We are actually, we're going on a trip, <laughs> not this week, but next week to a mastermind yes, that we are. is not a vacation, but as like weeks go or as experiences go, sitting with other people who have a variety of experiences, many of yeah. whom are further along in their journey. They have experienced things that we might have some questions about. Like that kind of a week, I think will be one of the weeks that we end up looking back on and are like, oh man, that was rad too. It's different because it's not about relaxing as much as it is like kind of pouring into ourselves in a totally different way. But I'm super, super excited about that. I agree. I just did one of those with women. Yes, you did. And it was, you were not allowed to come. No, it was for women. Uh, but it was one of the most amazing things yeah. and I did not know what to expect. But when you are diving all in with like-minded people and everybody there to help you out, it's really awesome. Like there's no competition, only kindness. That was a good one. 
Uh, let's see. What is your favorite meal replacement shake flavor? <laughs> oh, feels like a, a planted question. What I in the world? I did not plant this question. Michelle Mich Blowers. Michelle asked. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Yeah. Uh, blueberry cheesecake. And unfortunately, you cannot buy that right now. Because Orange cream. Out. Yeah. Orange cream. If you don't know, <laughs> Heidi has a company. It's called Transform. They do... The best They do the greatest... In the entire world. ...stuff. Yes. Period. I love it. It's so amazing. Yes. Uh, all right. Let's Here. see. Let's see. We're going to look through both. Oh, you have some? Uh, oh, someone wants to know about my facial hair on your questions. That's, that's, that's weird. That's where I read it from. Okay. Fine. Uh, let's see. Someone says, oh, how do you identify personal values? Ashley Smith is asking how you identify personal values. I have something. If you are in the U.S., this is a rad thing. You can text 96000 to the, the, the number 96000. You can text the word impact and uh, immediately you'll get a course that takes you through for free how to identify your personal values. Mm -hmm. 96000. Type the word impact. Immediately I'm going to text you something. That's the best question I've ever read in my life. Because I get that question too. Is it weird? So <laughs> Nina is asking, is it weird that all you do is show your lives on Instagram all day? Do you work? You know what's really interesting? Nina, this is a hard-hitting <laughs> question. I'm here for it. It's amazing. I've actually got that a lot because all that the world has seen over the years is me. I post with my kids or I post when I'm doing something fun. You don't post when you're actually working, you know? And yeah. so it, it, it's a shock for people that come in to work with the both of us. When they, they from the outside, they're like, oh, we're just going to work for somebody all that you do plays is, all day. All, all you do is post <laughs> stories. It's a shock because we work a lot. <laughs> what's, funny, what's funny too is, and I, the thing is, I get it because it does feel, I mean, like there's a fishbowl-esque nature to the way that we live our yeah. lives and it's cool, fine. But if we post... Let's say we posted 28 story frames, right? That would be a lot of story frames in a single day, and that would be four minutes Se of our entire day. Se seven. <laughs> that would be seven <laughs> minutes. I think there's a question saying, who's better at math? Oh, right now it's you. <laughs> but anyway, it'd be seven minutes. Seven okay, minutes. but you understand my yeah. points, right? Like, the headline ends up being, like, you pick and choose to show maybe a workout, something fun you're doing with the kids, a handful... But it's still seven minutes out of an entire day. So you know what? It is what it is. Yeah. Did Grandma <laughs> Lee ask that question? Yeah. Grandma Lee's asking that question every single day. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, what did transitioning from triathlon to bodybuilding training uh, feel like? That's from, Ma from Mari. Um, it's crazy because I was doing a little bit of the strength training prior to the triathlon. May not have been the best thing for the triathlon, to be honest, because I was a little bulkier than I probably should have been. But I have, in this decision for the next 90 days to really push myself physically, like more than anything, it's just this like, wow, I am seeing something happen to my body because of the way that I'm intentionally focused on pushing myself and the way that I'm dialing in my nutrition that I've just never seen before. And so I think I had a little bit of a limiting belief that I could not become someone who could develop a frame like I am or that I could lift the way that I do or that nutrition would actually have an impact on my body the way that it has. We just recorded a podcast on this, so I'm going to spoil this one little thing, but I've talked about it before. When I was in second or third grade... Did we already talk about this on a no, live? No, okay. uh, just twice in the podcast. Remember the first time when it didn't record? Oh, yeah, we recorded a podcast that did. didn't record. But here's, but just real quick. When I was story. in like second or third grade, <clears throat> I got a letter from the gifted and talented coordinator saying, uh, hey, Dave, we're inviting you to be in this gifted and talented program. And that third party outside expert affirming that I was smart was something that now made me believe that I was smart. And here... Heidi has unbelievable expertise inside of transformation and fitness and all things nutrition. And one of the things that you said very, very early on was, my goodness, like you really have a frame that lends itself to the people that I've you know, historically been inside of community with. And I am positive if you were to push yourself, you'd be shocked at what could happen. And that like was the same thing as that letter. Like all of a sudden I had this expert in my life who I love and just respect the opinion of so much saying, Hey, I see something in you that you might not see in, in yourself. 
and it changed the way I thought about what I might be capable of. And so now I'm just pushing it completely to the limit. Like how far can I go? Because I love this. I just like, I love this. It's all, we actually just did a side by side uh, last night. So I pulled Crazy. his first photo and his photo yesterday, his progress photo. So in two months, what I love about it is the change that you see, like you first saw your picture, you like just had them, you scrolled from the first to the current one and you're like, I don't see much of a difference. And I love that. <clears throat> then you put them side by side and look at them in the same frame and you can clearly see the very sl slow and healthy growth of your body. Like you have muscle in places, your trimmer in places, like you're actually doing what we call body recompositioning. So you're turning where, what used to be fat, those areas are being filled with muscle and then it's you're crazy. spinning fat. I know, it's really I had cool. no idea that it was possible. Really I actually cool. told myself that it wasn't possible. So like the mm -hmm. fact that it's actually showing itself to be possible has just been, it's just reframing what I think my body is capable of. And the way that we're approaching nutrition with macro training is something that like, you it's shocking. You, it it's, is so motivating because yeah. number one, I am eating way more than I've ever eaten and I am creating something in the way that I have strength, the way I have energy, the way that I'm sleeping, the way that like all of it is coming together in just like the best way in part because of the fuel that I'm putting in my body. Yeah. Anyway, I'll post a side by side at, uh, at some point in this journey. Have so, to. I'll have to, I'll have yeah. to, I'll have to. Uh, uh, did Noah Jr. survive the puking incident? Yeah. Alyssa asking the most important questions. Yes, barely, barely. There were a couple, there were a couple of uh, stuffed animals that are having a bath this morning. Really? But uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, Connie's asking the question that I oh, also. Oh, Amazing, okay. Connie. So for the for we the competition, get that podcast up. yeah, for the competition, uh, will it be spray tan and speedo? So the speedo thing, to be honest, like that was the thing that I absolutely hundred percent was like, oh my goodness, am I actually putting a speedo on and having to pose on a stage? This feels crazy. But you didn't even say it. I you didn't. Just, like, I just assumed yeah. it, and then we were having a conversation. There are these different levels inside of the competition space, and the first level, which of course is where I'm starting. You actually wear well, board shorts. I don't know if we should call them first, second, third level. Oh. Like different categories based on your frame. And he would do the one where he wears board shorts. It's called men's physique. Men's physique. And after men's physique, not after, but another one is like classic, which is like the black. Uh, what do you call those again? Why can't I think of the word? They're underwear. But boxer like, briefs. Boxer briefs. Yeah, boxer black briefs. boxer briefs. Yeah. And then bodybuilding, that category with the big, muscly, huge guys. I'm not that guy. That's the Speedo. Yeah. Like the like iridescent purple Speedos. You know how they do that? They do. <laughs> they get to pick their Speedo color. Yeah. It's not actually Speedo. We're giving, uh, we're promoting a brand that I don't think we actually... Yeah. It's underwear. Our faces are so close on Facebook. Uh, why? I, I don't understand what's happening. I, like, I, I feel like we have to scoot back a little no. bit. No. These poor people are like basically doing a poor examination. <laughs> Goodness. They're, they're checking our moles to make sure they don't have cancer. I mean, I'm making sure That's that my hair doing. cutting game is still on point. It's still working. <laughs> God bless it. Uh, what else? What else is going on? Did you get any other questions there? Yeah, Nerds? I uh, did. I, someone wants to know if you could do Ninja Warrior. Oh, Crystal on Facebook. Yeah, I think that'd be amazing. Ninja Warrior. You you know, like, have you ever seen the videos of me ninja warrioring in like the trampoline? Oh, park? oh, Those are that ninja warrior. Yeah, you know? I think, yeah, I think that's what it is. I like that. Uh, while we look for the next question, I will just uh, remind everyone we are in the third week of our 90 day challenge. It's called uh, the 90 days of courage. Every single week we are talking about a different topic. This week's topic is all about stillness, the importance of creating peace, and uh, just how much noise exists naturally inside of our world and that the um, noise itself is a distraction from how you might connect to who you're supposed to be or how you need to behave, show up in order to become who you'd hope to become. And that the only way that you can actually dial in on it is if you are able to Put the volume down just a little tiny bit because the volume being up so high is something that's just going to be hyper, hyper distracting. Uh, we're doing coaching tonight, the free coaching, 13 weeks of coaching. It's happening at 7.30 p.m. 
Central Time. If you have not yet jumped into the community of humans, I would like you to be inside of this community of humans. Uh, head over to MrDaveHollis.com. Drop in your email. Join us for coaching. If you missed the first two weeks, the first week was about casting a vision. The second week was about fear and limiting beliefs. Today we are talking about manufacturing peace. If you missed either of the first couple of weeks, no worries. You can jump into the group, immediately have access to the coaching, and join a community of more than 5,500 people, hello, and uh, be encouraged inside of an awesome page on the old Facebook. What else? What do we got, Hyde? I mean, there are three really good questions, I think. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, so one of them over on Facebook, someone had said, and I, this, I want this one first because we just talked about your transformation. They said, how quickly did you and can you see results? So I'm going to, you, I'm going to typically, and you saw the same thing yep. within two weeks, you are going to start to see results that you notice in the mirror. Two weeks is you're going to start to feel it in your body. Your energy is going to be better. You're going to look in the mirror and be like, oh my gosh, something's happening. Remember that? Yep. I would say a week and a half for you, two yeah. weeks, uh, maybe earlier, maybe a little bit later where it gets hard is between two weeks and like right now, two months, because you don't see change as quickly as you did those first two weeks, but change is actually happening. And so that's why progress photos are such a big deal because when you can hold side by side and you see there's a change, you're like, okay, all of the hard work, all of the macro counting, all of the workouts that I'm doing are working. So yeah. last night, when you saw that, you were like, awesome, I'm For gonna sure. keep going. You For need sure. to see progress to keep going. I will say this, uh, as a person who had never previously tracked anything, <laughs> Tracking is everything because yeah. I am tracking now every single thing that I put in my body, every bite of yes. literally every bite of food. And truly it is only so that I can see the correlation between the way that I have eaten in that day, the breakdown of the carbs, the fats, and the proteins, and the way that that is making me feel, whether it's how I have energy, how I am sleeping, how I feel strong, any of that kind of stuff, but also how it makes me, how, how, it's, how it's affecting my body. Yeah. But then also, I'm keeping track of, I, like I've got that body analyzing scale mm -hmm. that's showing me my composition, but then also like we're measuring, <laughs> which is a weird thing, measuring arms, Bicep. chest, like the whole Quads. thing, just yeah. to see what is happening over the course of time. Because I do agree, like it's the first couple weeks, immediate. Second few weeks, not as much, not as much. Um, the Jessica's asking, do I use a specific app? So I am tracking food with my fitness pal, free app. You can just, you know, get, grab it on like the app store. Um, uh, someone's asking, do you teach people how to do this? Well, and there are a ton of questions on Facebook. People wanting to know. Yeah. Should we tell them? Let's tell them. Yeah. So, I, so I'm going to be doing this, uh, Challenge that scares me, I'm out of my comfort zone, standing on a stage in this physique competition on November 7th. And for the two months leading to it, Heidi and I are going to do a, do you wanna try and work towards the stage with Dave kind of program, where we're gonna take people through a workout of the day, take people through nutrition, macro, carb cycling, the whole thing, kind of kinds of conversation. We're going to start it on September 1st. Yeah, so. or the first week at some point. It's first week be, of September. Yeah, and we'll have two different options, and you can do both. We'll have a nutrition thing where we actually educate you on all of the things that Dave has learned and is currently learning and experiencing with nutrition, because people over here are saying, how do I start macro counting? How does it work? Yeah. And then also, because there are people that want nutrition, there are people that just want exercise. We'll also have, like you said, a daily workout where we explain yep. for a beginner through advanced. So it's going to be really, it's gonna, really I think it's going to be fun, great community. And for me, like <laughs> the way we're trying to tee it up is like, all right, Dave, you are a novice who knows nothing. Mm -hmm. Hello. That's correct. Uh, you're sitting next to an expert who has a lot of experience in transformation and understands all the detail in nutrition and all the detail in the physical move in your body bit of it all. How would you ask questions of this expert in a way that I might be more representative of the audience and you might actually be the teacher and we'll do this whole thing together. I'm excited. They, I love that you guys are saying, how do I sign up? We don't know yet. We don't know yet. We're figuring <laughs> it out. <laughs> We're figuring but it out. within the week, we got to get yeah. something figured out where yeah. we can update people that want to be updated, but we don't know. We just had an idea last week. We're like, we got to yeah. do it. Too many people are asking. Yeah. All right. In the meantime, uh, 
we're going to do coaching tonight and we're going to keep on having conversations and encourage people also inside of uh, our 90 Days of Courage challenge. Do we want to end with a hard hitting question or so that's hard hitting. That's uh, easy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do both. Okay. Okay. All right. First question is. Go ahead. Go ahead. Which one do we want to go with first? <laughs> uh, who is the better cook? Who is the better cook? Who do you think? Hmm. Who there, there's is a the, light right there. There's a little light? It's shining on me. Maybe that means I'm... Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> uh. Uh, here's the thing. I barely know how to grill. Now, if I... Like, I had a period of time in my life where I was a wonderful cook, and I can make anything when I put my mind to it. Uh -huh. I just don't put my time and my mind to it very often. So, he can grill like a maniac. I mean, the thing is, I only have four moves, but... They're pretty good moves. Wait, what are you? <laughs> for, for cooking. Okay, for I, cooking. I, have, I have a lot more than four, so I'm probably the better cook. Yeah. But I don't know if better is the right word. It depends on what it is. He's great. He makes You're the great. best steaks. Now, we're, I think we both have our strengths. We need to, okay. All right, here we That's go. One. Uh, the next one. I mean, this is funny, too, because we're, we're so different. Yeah, well, okay, let's do. Are your kids jealous when you are with Dave's kids? And vice versa. And vice versa. <clears throat> it's so interesting. They're, these kids, when they're together, get along so well, and there is definitely a little tug of war for Heidi's affection. <laughs> Mostly. No one is tugging for my affection. It is unbelievable, though, that uh, these humans on both sides are so enamored with her that them. when my kids They're are so interested cute. in getting a hug, like <laughs> my kids will give Heidi a hug and then her kids will give two hugs <laughs> and then my and then kids will give three. eight hugs. Yeah, it's like a battle and like one comes up and hugs and then the other one comes up and like lays on my lap, you know, yep. so it's, it's always a little bit different. Yep. Um, I will say that there are two exceptions. When our kids are all together, neither Ford nor Cash know that we exist. That's real. They are gone. They just are together. Yes. It don't matter. Yes. They love each other. Goodbye. But the two littles for sure. I mean, there is something yeah. interesting about Noah and Ruby competing a little bit for attention because yeah. of how much they both love you. And you frankly love them, which is amazing. I, I will say this. So when I am, he, like, I do think that is hard. I'm really connected with my kids, right? And I always have been. And it's, um, I do think it, it is a little bit hard for them to see and know that I am really close with other kids, which I'm aware of that. I'm in tune with it. Yeah. And I make sure that they know that my love for them is never going anywhere. I, it's made me be more intentional. Um, during my time with them when I'm in town. But I also don't ever leave my kids. My time with my kids, I never leave them to come to you. No. Does that make sense? Like, and I don't, by the way, yeah. leave my kids to go never. to yours. No, nope. you know, like, we only visit when we, yeah, kids are dads or moms. That's right, yeah. 100%, 100%. And they, so they are, I mean, I think that's such an important thing because there isn't even a consciousness on our kids' sides that we are not at the house that they are coming back to yeah. when we aren't here. Yeah. Which is part of what, you know, having blended families and having divorce ends up producing. You get yeah. the ability when you don't have your kids to do whatever you'd like. All right. What else? Uh, I mean, that's a good one because we're so different. How often do you plan out your schedule? Weekly, daily, or never? All of the above for Ooh. me. Except for the never. Weekly, daily, minutely, hourly, monthly, yearly for me. I Well, I will tell you this. I, I previous to life changing 18 months ago was more of a planner and something happened. Were you? I was, and something happened in me thinking that I knew how things were going to go. And then them not turning out the way that I thought that had me giving up a little bit on longer term <laughs> planning. And so I tend now to be way more spur of the moment. We'll figure it out when we figure it out, which sometimes gets between us because you're, interest in planning and knowing what the plan is and my oh we'll figure it out it's cool don't worry about it but i'm like yeah we'll figure it out if we plan it you know right. so i'm like uh, <laughs> cool yeah I'll, we'll figure it out we might mean me because i'm going to figure it out yeah <laughs> i also really... the weird thing is i tend to be a lot more like yeah whatever 
Well, like, you know, like, I'm in, like, not indifferent because it sounds apathetic. No. But, like, I'm... You I'm, go with the flow. I'm go with the flow. Like, I'm totally <laughs> go with the flow. So when you say, like, do you want to do uh, this or that? I'm like, sure. Like, what, you tell me, tell me what you're interested in. Not in, like, uh, yeah. and I, it sounds almost, like, codependent. It's, it's no. truly just, like... I just don't... Don't care. I just don't care. That sounds <laughs> apathetic you, again. But when you care... Here's the thing, though. When you care about something, <clears throat> you care about it and you speak it. So That's it's true. Not, That's there true. There are just things that both of us care more about than the other. And I luckily, they kind of go really well together. Yeah. No, no, no. We I, there, there is <laughs> symmetry in or balance in the things that you care yeah. about. I, even if I have indifference for, then I want to be supportive yin of yang, those things. Right? Yin, yin and yang. Yin yeah, and yang. That's right. All right. Uh, can we hang out on Wednesday? Will you come back on Wednesday? We're going to do another live. I'm going to be coming to you live from Nashville. I'm, I'm probably not going to be there. Oh, Heidi. I have a ticket, but Heidi. it looks like some family stuff might yeah, be something, up. Family's some, most important. 100%. Uh, I am. I have the benefit in this week that's all about peace and, uh, and stillness. I'm going on. Uh, the back patios of a handful of people this week. So I'm super excited. I'll be uh, on the back patio with Annie Downs, uh, with Carlos Whitaker, with my boy John Acuff, uh, a handful of other people in Nashville. And uh, on Wednesday morning, I'll be coming to you live from, what's Nashville? Is it Music City? I don't know, but... Sounds like if I'm there, we got to go downtown. It is, I've been there once. One hundred percent. It's amazing. All right. All Between right. Now, now and then, if you have not yet signed up, please jump into our free community, MrDaveHollis.com forward slash book. Drop your info in. Join us tonight, seven thirty p.m. Central, for free coaching all about stillness and peace. Between now and then, have a fantastic Monday. Thanks Bye, for guys. hanging out. Bye bye. Got it. Got it. <laughs>